Snest Drunk. And welcome back to Snest Drunk Plays uh, Mega Man X2. And there's something I forgot last time. If we go all the way up this first row here, we wait for the thing. It disappeared. And we have to trigger it again. What the hell was that? It followed me up and then it just went away. Oh, that was real slick. There we go. Jump on this thing. Go over here. And get the E-Tank. Now we have two E-Tanks I can keep empty. And let's blow this thing up for fun. There we go. Uh, you mean to tell me there is not going to be another one coming in so I can't co go this way? Are you serious? Come on, where the hell is it? It's not going to come back? Boy, what I wouldn't give for some Ninja Guidance respawning at this point. Come on. Well, those aren't that important. Whatever. Let's just go up here, I guess. Anyway, uh, after a nap and uh, a couple shots of whiskey, I am back doing this. Uh, not really at my my best <laughs> right now in terms of playing, but fuck it, I don't care. Okay, yeah, we need to have the th the um, wheel gator weapon attached so we can get up here and destroy this wall as soon as you can. So we can get the heart piece, get swallowed up by the lava, jump up, and we're going to survive this time. Yay! But I forgot to get the item on the left. I forget what's over there. Oh, well. Oh, can I go back now? No, I can't. I've reached the next checkpoint, evidently. Anyway, yeah, here's more proof that you really need to get dash jump down correctly. And like I said last time, it's, it's just like... Mario 64, to hit the Z trigger button uh, before you, uh, what's up here? Anything up here? Oh, another one of these things. Oh, well. Um, it's, li it's like doing the long jump in Mario 64. So, wait a second. Somehow I got here just in time, so now I can face this guy. I'm not even sure who this is. It's Violin. Who is the eighth guy from I think is it, don't you face him you have to face him later I think don't you I don't like my chances on beating him I don't even know what his special weapon is I don't care but yeah if this is what you do you usually find oops usually find like an alternate uh, path but I think there's like timing involved or something like that ugh do I have anything in reserve? Kinda. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was worthwhile. Oh, and I reached a game over. Oh god. I hope I don't have to get the sub tank and all that stuff all over again. I really hope not. Oh god, we gotta sit through this again. Flame stag, who's weak to bubbles? Real, real impressive, dude. So let's start from the beginning. Whatever, let's go. I don't care. Boy, the background really reminds me of um, what do you call it? it looks like I got the sub tank and all that. Background reminds me of 65 uh, million BC and Chrono Trigger, the rocks and all that, the cliffs and plateaus and all that kind of stuff. The southwestern settings. So the heart piece, I should still have that if I still have the the thing. But I'll, I'll if I still have the sub tank, but I'll equip this just in case. Got it. Okay, good. And this time we'll go to the left. Oh, it's just a, a thing, just a life thing for a to keep in the sub tank. Yeah, the levels, I think, in Mega Man X2 are a little tougher. Um, I think the level design is a little more clever in the first game and is a little more memorable. Whoops. But um, I think it's a little tougher in Mega Man X2, especially trying to get some of the items, and especially parts like this. I hate this part right here. This is really tricky. I, I don't think I've ever gotten past this part without getting hit. You have to be very patient. The respawning of these guys here is really frequent, especially if you stay on the edge and you kind of 
Ah, oh, see, there we go. If you, if you keep going down and allowing those guys to respawn, this part can really be a pain in the ass. We'll just skip that guy. We'll just skip this guy. It is. I don't think I've ever gotten past that part without getting hit. It is ridiculous. Oh, Flamestag wouldn't be Flamestag if he didn't have some PVC pipe there. Is there anything up here? Heart piece? Anything? No? Okay. So, I don't think I have any, hardly anything in the sub-tank. So, maybe a couple life things. Yeah, this guy is pretty much... Flamestag has a similar pattern to Sigma, pretty much. Uh-oh, shit. I forgot to equip the weapon. <laughs> it's just not... Not on my game here. Here, there we go. <laughs> I can't... Oh, my God. I, my timing is so off. I really should not have had two shots of whiskey before playing this. This is too fast. Okay. Oh, I do have something. Okay. Let's just beat him with brute force. If I manage to dodge stuff, hooray. But if I'm just going to take the hits, keep hitting him with, with bubbles. Yeah, that's right. I don't care. <laughs> That's what I enjoy about Mega Man, though, is you, you really can just bulldoze your way through with brute force, take the hits, and just keep going. You have a life meter. I'd much rather have a life meter than that one-hit death bullshit. Screw that. What weapon do we get from Flamestag? Oh, we get the usual badass red motif, and we get a speed burner. I like the flamethrower from the last game better. But this works too, it's a flame projectile. And once you get the Mega Buster power up, upgrade, you get to uh, do like a super dash, flame dash or something. I don't know what it's, it, its official name is, but. Anyway, we use the flame to, of course, take out the moth. <coughs> this is a goofy boss fight where he starts out in one form and completely changes. This is a, kind of a goofy stage too. Some of the best pixel art in the game. Look at all the all the detail going on in all this, uh, you know, all the trash and pollution and all this stuff going on here. Just the minute details you've got going on there. It like goes to show how much effort they put into making this game look. It is awesome. And I can't think of another stage in any other game that looks quite like this. It's really cool. And those are really cool enemies, too. If you, if you only hit them... Hey, what are you doing dodging that? You never dodge that. Um, yeah. Those enemies down there, the... Ah, Jesus. If you keep hitting them, I just can't get my dash correctly. Um, the parts come back to them as, as you keep hitting them, so you have to destroy them pretty quickly. Free guy, I will take it. Ah, that's creepy. You can blow up the bodies, the heads just stay hanging in the air. I think there's a mini boss up here. Yes, there is. It is a super grasshopper weird bug thing that possesses the body of this dead android thing. Another really cool idea. And when you blow up the android, it sinks back down into the rubble and you get a brief chance at the grasshopper thing, whatever that thing is. And then it possesses yet another thing, another uh, robot. Ah, didn't expect that. There we go. It only takes a few hits. All right. As soon as I dispose of this guy, I am going to call this an episode. Yeah, in the middle of a stage. How novel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.